too complicated. Citizens are not supposed to be doing this. And we have to show them that they are wrong. And the worst thing they've tried to do to us is to accept this psychology that we are supposed to be passive. We're supposed to get our debates from Fox News and CNN instead of leading the debates. We are supposed to leave it to constitutional scholars to understand the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and decide when it's been violated. And we are supposed to lead it to our representatives to lead the nation. Now listen to me, the biggest thing our founders left us is not the system of checks and balances, brilliant and beautiful as it is. It's not the Declaration of Independence. It's not the Bill of Rights or the Constitution. The most important thing our founders left us is a psychology of liberty in which ordinary people lead this country. that he has so nobly begun. Let me close by expressing my deep appreciation for the chance to speak here today. And let me, me leave you with the words Thomas Paine used to describe what it, makes, what it takes to make a successful revolution. I call not upon a few, but all, Paine wrote in December 1776, not on this state or that state, but on every state up and help us lay your shoulders to the wheel better to have too much force than too little when so great an object is at stake let it be told to the future world that in the depth of winter when nothing but hope and virtue could survive the city and country alarmed at one common danger came forth to meet and repulse it Payne closed his passage with words that could just as well have been spoken by dr paul and which should be spoken by all of us. I thank God, Payne wrote, that I fear not. I see no real cause for fear. I know our situation well and can see the way out of it. three minutes away. Now, now you got it, this is important. Adam Kokesh joined the Marines at 17 years old to represent us and defend this country. I'm telling you, he went to Iraq to help rebuild. He asked for the service of being able to communicate directly. He learned Arabic on his own to be able to communicate with the people there and do the best that he could to fulfill our obligation to the people whose homes we destroyed. Now, I'm, I'm going to cut this short. There's so many great things. Putting their support behind some of the other Republican candidates, I knew in my heart there was only one on the Republican ticket that seriously would defend the Constitution of the United States, and that was Congressman Ron Paul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when a president or a congressman or a county commissioner takes the oath of office, they don't take an oath to please the party bosses. They don't take an oath of office to please Katie Couric. No. They place one hand on the Bible, the other hand to heaven, and they swear before God and before the American people that they will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States.